Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Eva Ryle, the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning. I am smiling. Yes, we are both <laughs> smiling. We're happy to be here. We're, of course, physical distancing. We've got the masks on, and we're outside here in front of the Connecticut Science Center in our capital city. So. Glad to keep these going. Yeah. And today we're talking torque. Yes. All right. Yeah. So torque, um, I think, is a really interesting force that we don't often talk about. Um, and so I wanted you to maybe experiment a little okay. bit with it for me. You have a little um, hook there. Yep. And I want you to try to turn it with your hands. Screw it into the board. Okay. How does that feel? It's it's challenging. Yeah. But yeah. doable. It's but doable. Maybe yeah. Challenging. It's, yeah. I don't know how much more I could go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I want you to try something else for me. See that dowel you have there? Yes. Just stick that in. Perfect. And now use that to turn your bolt. See how that feels. Oh, that's simple. It's a lot easier, right? Oh yeah, very easy. Yeah. So yep. you basically just made kind of a simple machine there. All right. You made a lever. Um, and simple machines help us to magnify forces. So our torque is really just force multiplied by the distance of your of the lever that you're using. So, so the longer the lever. Mm -hmm the easier it's going to be. Exactly, right. yeah. And right. you don't need to increase your force, but you'll get more torque, more of that turning force. Um, another way to see it, we have this balance here. Yes. And so obviously there's different distances, different that I can put these little weights at. So I can put two at uh, our five spot over here, and then the only one weight of the, an equivalent weight at 10, and you'll notice it'll balance out. So even though there's only one weight on this side and there's two on this side, because I've doubled the distance here, mm -hmm. our torques are even. All right. This is another way to think about that. Makes sense. Um, another really cool thing about this, it's all addition, right? <laughs> five plus five is 10. There you go, right. It equals. Um, I think maybe one way you might have seen this before uh, is, have you ever changed a tire? I haven't, but I've seen it done. Yeah. Yes. You know the lug wrench? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I had to change a tire once and I had to use the one that came with the car and it was about this big. It's really hard to get the bolts off, <laughs> but with a much longer one, you get more torque, it's way easier to take those bolts off. Excellent. Yeah, All right, so, so uh, you know, this is something we see in everyday life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you know, you guys at the Science Center, while you are closed right now, of course, uh, you guys are, are keeping things active online with your blog. Yes. All yeah. Right. So we're putting up new content every single day on our blog. You can check it out on our website, ctsciencecenter.org. Uh, for all kinds of science you can do at home. All right, Eva, thank you so much. All right, and of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.